Hello, it's me, it's Chris Gethard. I wanted to give you guys an update on how this pilot thing is going, straight from me, because um, I haven't checked in in a while. You know, we did our last show on public access December 11th, and then I've been kind of off the radar, so hello, it's good to see you guys. I miss talking to everybody on the phone and tweeting, and our mis message board and Tumblr have really slowed down, so it's a bummer. Nice to reconnect with people. Love that everybody's been embracing talking TCGS and that Griffin and Riley are doing that, keeping the community alive. That's great. So things about the pilot. A lot of you out-of-towners have heard about tickets already. we got people coming from Oklahoma and Hawaii and California and Brazil, which is insane. Thank you guys. Can't wait to meet all you guys. New Yorkers and people closer to the New York area, we're just waiting for the fire marshal to tell us how many people we can have, and then we'll let you know if you have a ticket or not. We've gotten hundreds of requests, like over 200 within the first five minutes that we announced them. We don't have that many tickets to give away, so a lot of you guys just try to be understanding. We're not trying to be dicks, but we can't fit everybody. Other things going on. Logistically, we've been doing these rehearsals, getting the whole gang together, getting some friends I trust, my ba my man Tom Sharpling, my, my lady T Tammy Sh Sager, a whole bunch of other people coming through, giving thoughts and opinions on how we're doing. Feeling good, man. I think these bits are getting better and better. This is the most work we've ever put into an individual episode. We're not overthinking it, with that being said. and We're just trying to go out there and get them, you know, so I think it'll be really cool. And um, we're psyched. We're just going to go put our best foot forward. Do our best. We know what we like. We know what we're good at. We know what we think is funny about this show. Let's just go do the half-hour version of it. Then the dream either dies or comes to life. It's really not that bad. Not that much pressure. What else? We've rented a studio. It's going to be rad. We get to go in there on Monday. Just take it over. Build a set. We get to store things there. All these luxuries. We've never had green rooms. There's a shower on site, which is cool. Um, human fish. We're going to get him a 200-gallon tank to swim around in which will be my dream come true, and the pilot will be worth it just because of that. Um, we've booked our guest for the show. So excited. Don't want to say who it is yet, but it's so cool. Shell Shag is the musical guest. That's amazing, because I love Shell Shag as people and as a band, and it'll be good for me to have them there, because like, they're for real punk rock DIY people, and it'll remind me why I do this. You know, We want to do this the right way. Other things, I can't decide what to wear during the pilot. Should I go J. Crew? If I go J. Crew, do I go t-shirt, polo, or sweater? Do I go white t-shirt with something written on it? The classic. I don't know. I'm also dieting, both because I'm vain and because I was shitting blood at the end of the year because of hemorrhoids due to stress. So I didn't want to shit blood anymore, so I wanted to go on a diet that would give me softer, smoother stools. That's classic gathered oversharing right there. Also, my mom over Christmas walked up to me, patted me on the stomach, and was like, putting on the pounds, huh? And I was like, why would you say that? We're filming a pilot in a month. She was like, I'm so sorry. And then I stared at her. She stared at me, and it was sad. It was grim. So those are some things going on. Very psyched. Very psyched. I get stressed out a little bit. I'm holding up okay. Only cried once at home. Cried for like an hour because the stress got to me. Here's how I know Hallie loves me. She just vacuumed around me. It wasn't a huge deal to her. She just vacuumed around me. Um, the pilot itself isn't stressing me out. So many people ask me about it all the time, and everybody's being super positive and curious, and they're all excited for me, but it just piles up. It just piles up. I have to talk about it so much. So I've been kind of laying low, a little reclusive, um, just so I don't have to think about it so much because it stresses me out. Um, but I'll be back above water. I'll be on the grid again soon. And then what else, man? The only thing that bums me out is a lot of TGS fans on, on social media are like, I, I like that I knew about the show and it was cool and this is going to make tear the heart out of it. Anybody who's saying that does not have our best interests in mind. If you think we're going to give the heart away of this thing now, you're crazy. You're crazy. Anybody who knows the story of this whole thing knows how we got here and why we felt like it was worth doing this and how much it means to us and how much this community really surprised us and how protective I am of it. And if you think that – if you're on Twitter tweeting me like, oh, it's not going to be punk rock anymore, like, you're no friend of mine, pal. You can get out of here, you know. And a lot of the people saying that are people who have never tweeted me before, who have never called the show. So a lot of these people who are already accusing us of selling out, like, yes, we're selling out. We know we're selling out. And maybe because of that, we'll get to put all of our focus on this, make it our jobs and our lives, and bring it to even more people, this thing that you supposedly love. So that gets me. That hurts my feelings. We're going to really do this thing the right way. I'm pretty intent on that. And also, Comedy Central, Viacom, they all want us to do it the right way. We've earned the right to do it. They like what we do. They want to see if it'll work for them in a half-hour format. Like, nobody's trying to get us to tear the heart out of this thing, and I'm not looking to tear the heart out of it. So that stuff, I hope, quiets down because it hurts. It hurts. That does hurt my feelings. Outside of that, we're good to go. We're ready to rock. Can't wait to get in there and get them. I'm going to see so many of you guys the 30th. 
pilots don't air generally. Our pilot will not air. So everybody who's asking, when is it going to air? When can I see it? Like, I know it's a bummer. You probably will never see it if you're not there live. Sorry. Um, that's stressful. I know that that stinks, but if you can't be there live, you're just going to have to miss out on one day. But hopefully it's a day that leads to many more things you can see. So I'm psyched. A little stressed. We're all psyched doing these rehearsals, killing it. So much big thanks to The Creek and Rebecca Chen for letting us rehearse there. Can't wait to get in there, see how it all goes down, make it happen, reconnect with all you guys, and hopefully take over the world and then win a bunch of Emmys and then become a huge cultural sensation of heartfelt, accessible, sad, violent comedy that speaks to the current generation and current technologies in a way that no other show has before. That's the ultimate goal. Odds, odds are that it's just a pilot and they're like, it's not our thing. Like statistically speaking, that's not like self-defeating. Like the odds, the actual numerical odds are that this is the end of the road. So if it is, then it's all right. If not, though, we're going to do some damage and I think it'll be really fun. And I'm so psyched to do it. Thank you, everybody, for the support. Sorry I've been kind of quiet to support you guys to see how I'm a stress-filled man, an anxiety-filled man. But I'm also a very happy and excited man and I cannot wait to get in there and do it. Thank you all for helping to make it happen. Good talking to you. We'll talk soon.